Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to basically replace or upgrade your RAM. So basically, um, last time what I did was I have upgraded for RAM in the system to 8 gigs of RAM because I just thought that would be pretty cool. And I have, I have 250 gigs of storage on my Arch Linux system. Uh, it is my Arch Linux system because it's very old hardware. It is a Dell Optiplex 380 as you guys can see. But I was thinking of upgrading this because I, I just want to. So basically, over here is where for graphics card will go. So um, this black thing, as you guys will be able to see. Hold on, let me just turn off a flash like this. So this is basically where uh, my graphics card will basically go. And I did remove these two. Okay. So base that was basically it. That's what I did was upgrade a RAM so far. I upgraded to Crystal RAM. So um, what you guys will basically will need to do to start doing this is to basically remove the C DVD drive. So that way it'd be a lot more easier for us to install some new RAM. Hold on. Right, once you have removed for um, DVD drive, okay, this is what we need to do to begin with, right? And now we should see these two RAM. Um, this is 8 gigs of RAM, as I always have I said before. Um, this is a black thing, so what you guys need to do is push that down and push down for the other one. Um, do this with two hands, and then you should be able to remove the old RAM. Hold on. I think I put this in very safely. Very securely, I mean, where I wouldn't be able to be taken out. Hold on. Yeah, I got it out now. So as you guys will see, this is um, Critical RAM. So I just took that one out. Um, if you guys want to upgrade two other RAM chips, then please feel free to. But I'll be just doing one RAM chip to begin with um, because I just showed you guys how to take out by um, pressing onto these two um, black things or it could even be white um, or whatever. It could be whatever I want it to be. So to basically reinstall for RAM, what you guys want to do is press it down. Um, it has to be um, in. Bake sure it's on for right side, otherwise it won't come in right. So if if it does not if it, if we're struggling to put it in, then that means that it's not correctly is um in properly. So then we need to put it on for right side, otherwise it won't go in. Um, okay. So um basically to do this, what the guys will need to do is do this, and now push it down until we hear a click on most on most of them. Yep, we heard one click. And then we had another one. And now that RAM is properly installed. As you guys can see, it is installed into our system. Okay, what you guys should probably try to avoid touching though is a great part of the RAM because otherwise that could make it fail. So just make sure we install it correctly. Okay, so we had us installed for new RAM. So what you guys will need to do now is basically put in for our DVD drive. Just like this. It's very easy. Um, just push it in. Um, this is a failed um, DVD drive, so it doesn't quite matter, but this is basically how guys will be able to fit in. And then you guys will just probably need to put the case back on, but uh, basically that will guys will need to just put the case back on and then it should be able to boot up. So yeah, I'm in the next video. Um, I, what I'm going to do in the next part is show you guys the booting process of this PC. Just to show you guys that I have successfully installed the RAM. I'll see you in a minute.